Hey, Pastor Joe here. It's time for our Tuesday E-Blast. I'm kind of chuckling because I just did this, all right? And uh, went back to look at it. Instead of video button, I'd hit the photo button. So I basically just took a picture of myself uh, doing the E-Blast. But here it is one more time from my heart to yours. Uh, Sunday, we announced the annual marriage retreat. Many of you know we didn't do this last year. We usually have anywhere from 30 to 60 couples. Uh, I think at the lowest we had about 35 couples that go and be a part of our annual marriage retreat. This year, it's taking place up in the Hill Country in Kerrville at the Wild Ranch Resort Hotel. So you don't want to miss this. It's always fun. We did this several years ago. I think 2014, we did this in Kerrville. It's a great location. In fact, the only thing I really saw wrong with the, the accommodation itself back then was that the, the rooms were great, big rooms and great time, but the uh, bathrooms were old. I mean, outdated. They've since redone all that and taken real advantage of this off season to, to really renew some things. So you're going to really enjoy the Wild Ranch Hotel. Come on, be a part of this. Uh, the cost factor is only... $20 more than it was in 2014 when then it was $279. Now it's $299. All right. Uh, get online. It's going to be up this afternoon and tomorrow. So you can actually register online, pay your deposit. All you got to do is just pay the $100 deposit. That'll secure your place. All right. So uh, go online, read the brochure, see what's coming on. I don't care where you are in your marriage. If you've been married uh, a week or, 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 or 47 years, like Kathy and I have 46, uh, there's going to be something for you in this conference. In fact, we're really in, 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 in our planning and prayerfully uh, st strategizing everything about the conference. We're doing some things that are different we've done before, but we're also making sure we have something for every age. And no matter what age you are, in uh, your marriage, I mean, what age that is, uh, how many years you've been married, there's going to be something that's going to minister to you, but there'll also be something that you can take away for the years to come or for your friends and family so you can minister to them because I believe everything that God does in my life is for your benefit and everything God does in your life well, it's, it's for others' benefit too. So we all benefit from that. So come, be a part. Let God uh, uh, sharpen your relationship and, and empower it on a more new level. If you think it's going flat and still, obviously come enjoy the time because it is a great time. We have worship times, times of fellowship uh, included in this. is this great uh, catered meal that we do all there. It's a big barbecue meal we all do there on site together. Uh, there'll be some some testimonies, music, and worship. So it's going to be a great, great time. And I am so excited to get back to this. I've missed this doing this last year, as many of you have. So be the first to get online. Wouldn't hurt for you to go ahead and put two deposits down, maybe for another couple you know needs this. And uh, just by faith, go ahead and put one deposit down and let them know, hey, I'm trusting God for you and your marriage. So come on, be a part of this. Uh, <clears throat> so that's, that's the announcement for today. I'll be back in the pulpit. I was out for two Sundays in a row. I didn't die, and I didn't go on vacation. I was just out of the pulpit on those Sundays. Uh, I was in service, live stream, because I wanted to see what how we're doing there and what's going on there and what, how that's functioning when you're not there. But uh, I was in attendance in service. I saw the baptisms at, at um, Spring Campus and the, the fellowship, both places. Uh, so it was it was a great time in the Lord. I was last Sunday also helping the music at the Magnolia Campus, so I was in part of that service. I want to just say something from my heart to you, something the Lord's been laying on my heart, to, to, again, just to remind me uh, to be sensitive to the work of the Holy Spirit that He's doing in my life and with my life. Because I believe that God's working in each and every one of us when we allow Him. And He's always working in our life even when we don't allow Him. He's, he's a good Father. But the Bible says in two places, as I've been looking back in Proverbs, and uh, starting this next month, I'm just going to read it through again. I, I do that several times a year. Uh, each day of the month taking a book of the Proverbs along with my other studies and prayer time. But uh, I have been thinking about two passages out of Proverbs specifically. One says the steps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord. Now, someone's righteous, somebody knows Jesus. So if you know the Lord, the Bible says he's involved in your steps, your, your daily life, your walk. All right. Another passage says there's a many plans in the mind of man, but the Lord orders the steps. He directs our steps. So God, God's got a pathway. He's got a purpose. He's got a plan for us. Uh, my prayer is is that as a church and even as an individual, as a man, that I become more and more sensitive to those steps each day. What does the Lord, Lord, what does the Lord have out in front of me? He's leading me this way. I'm going this way. I'm about the business of my life that he's put me in, where he's put me in, strategically, the community, the place I live, the neighbors I have, the job you're on. You know, I believe in the sovereignty of God. But God's got some things he wants to do with your life and your situation. You say, oh, Pastor, I'm, I'm in a bunch of crap right now. Hey, God, God can use even that, all right? The Bible says God makes all things work together for good, the good. To those that love God and are called according to his purpose, that's that righteous person. So <clears throat> I just want to encourage you today, to, a simple prayer, Lord, help me be sensitive. Help me to see you in the path, 
to see the steps you're ordering and to respond accordingly. Because uh, I, I want to walk with you. I want to enjoy you. I want to live out this life that you saved, you, that you, you died so I could be saved to enjoy. Because he paid the high price. So let's don't miss it. I love you. Look for what God's doing in your life today and walk in that and enjoy that. I'll see you in church Sunday. It's going to be a great, great service. I'm preaching a message called I'm Sure. So you don't want to miss that. Bring someone with you. It's going to be a great service. God bless you.